Hello, Mr. Rogers. Good evening, Mr. Kong. Uh, may I ask some question of you? Of course. Today, uh, I would like to ask something about uh, ambiguity. What's the definition of ambiguity? And what do you think about ambiguity in language? Okay, the definition as we would find usually is something that is obscure, abstruse, or something that has two specific meanings at least and in which situation a person might have difficulty in defining what that word or phrase means. Um, in language, I think uh, ambiguities can be interesting or frustrating. It depends on how you know to use it. Um, but these days, currently, there's a big issue, and I don't know how many people are aware of it, but uh, everybody knows about the Iraq War, and everybody usually is aware of the fact that George Bush declared that war was ended in certain terms after uh, the fighting. George Bush landed an airplane on an aircraft carrier. On that aircraft carrier there was a banner and the banner said mission accomplished. This was right behind him as he gave his speech. Now it's come uh, to head that people are saying did that mean that the war was over or did that mean that the mission was accomplished for that aircraft carrier's crew. We don't know, and both sides are saying the opposite. And there's one example of ambiguity. Uh, I think the second example I, I'd like to use, it also has something to do with uh, countries or uh, politics, because you'll find ambiguity in politics often. Uh, during the Vietnam War, uh, some wives or family were informed that their son or daughter had been shot down, a pilot in a jet. And... Uh, that was a loss, a combat loss, but in that sense it was not a declaration of death. It was more just a statement that the person had been shot down. Now, uh, the term for this was ambiguous loss, meaning that the woman didn't know whether to mourn, to be sad, to be de depressed, or to have hope thinking that maybe the husband was alive or wife was alive. There's another example of that term can have several distinct meanings. Uh, otherwise, I think it's most important for students or anyone that wants to be aware of ambiguity, to identify ambiguity, to be able to analyze the context that it comes in. Whether uh, we're talking about politics, which are always uh, ambiguous in a sense, or whether we're talking about a, a statement that uh, uses an idiom, such as over your head, um, when it's not literally meaning that. Um, one one kind of quick thing that comes to mind that was kind of a joke. There was an ad in America on TV and it came out and it said, uh, quit smoking cold turkey. And a girl who had seen that out on TV said, well, why would someone smoke cold turkey anyways? Now, in a sense, she was saying that she thought the ad meant that people were actually smoking turkey, but the ad meant that someone was going to stop smoking cigarettes immediately. All right, that's cold turkey. So those were two meanings. Anyways, Mr. Kong, that's all I have to say today. <laughs> uh, I hope that was informative. I see. Uh, thank you very much, Chief. Yes. I really appreciate your cooperation. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Yes. Have a good night.